The NBA season is just around the corner, so I'm joined at the desk by Jack and Will to offer their thoughts on the NBA preseason. So, Will, what are your thoughts on a team that has been doing really well in the preseason, but might not keep that up in the regular season? Well, that team this year in the preseason, I think, is the New York Knicks. They have a 3-1 and one record so far in the preseason, and they've had convincing wins as well against teams like the Wizards and the Pelicans. I'm concerned about them because Porzingis isn't coming back till around February or March, and they have a very young squad right now with T. Lakina, Kevin Knox. I both think those. I think both those players are going to be good, but I am concerned about them in the regular season. Might be another rebuilding year for them, considering yeah. Porzingis is the heart of that team. Yeah. Jack, what do you think? Uh, for me, I had the Charlotte Hornets. Um, they beat Boston, Chicago, and Miami, and they lost to Chicago by uh, sorry, lost to Boston by three points. Um, this team struggled, struggled last year, and all it did was add Tony Parker. Um, I don't think there's enough depth on this team, or enough big men are shooting to, can, to uh, succeed in the East, even though it's super weak this year. Um, I think they're going to struggle right out of the gates, and we'll continue on into the, into the lottery this year. Well, it'll be very interesting to see where they end up. But my question for you is now, what team has you concerned? Like, what team is not playing great in the preseason that could leak over? Uh, I have the Pelicans. I lost to three of the worst teams in the league, Knicks, Hawks, and Bulls. Um, I mean, statistically, they, they look good. They can score the ball, but their de defending has just been t atrocious. Um, with especially with Julius Randle, the newcomer in, they should be doing a lot better than they are. They have defense with uh, Drew Holiday and Davis in the, in the backcourt. Um, but for me, this, this team is all about the bench, and they have just been struggling in the preseason, so they need to continue up. You have to wonder if Davis might leave in free agency one of these days. Who knows? My question for you, though, Will, what about you? Uh, my pick is the Miami Heat this year. They're one and three in the preseason right now, and I think this team needs to trade for Jimmy Butler like as soon as possible. Um, they have young guys such as Justice Winslow. I think they could put together together a decent package for the Timberwolves and get Jimmy Butler because they're going to need to do that if they want to just keep being the eighth or ninth seed in the East every year. You have to try and hang in there. Now, my last question for you is. What team has you excited for this season? Oh, definitely the Lakers for me. Um, the best player in the world, LeBron, playing with four guys, four young guys, also another four guys that have kind of bounced around the league, um, kind of have had touch, tough stretches in their career. It's going to be so interesting to watch. A bunch of guys gathering together. What's, what's more Lakers than that? What about you? What do you think? I'm kind of continuing with the rivalry. I have, I have the Celtics. Um, for me, they have three words to describe this year, young, hungry, and healthy. Bringing back Kyrie and Gordon Hayward uh, to a squad that already had Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, and Al Horford, this team will be unstoppable. I think. I think they're going to contend with the uh, the best, of the best, including the uh, Warriors for a title. This team will be good, fun to watch, and I think it'll be one of the best teams in the league. In a weaker East and a much healthier team, who knows? The Celtics team could be in the finals. Definitely. Lakers Celtics could be a fun rematch. But that is all the time we have from the hardwood. But when we come back, I will be headed over to the gridiron for some Heisman discussion. Stay tuned.